Hello, my name is Connor Braid and I'm a first year student at Leeds Beckett University studying Business Management and Finance. This is my blog, Consumer Me, for the module Understanding Markets and Customers. Today I'll be looking at the consumer behaviour based on my previous buys. Consumer behaviour is the buying habits or patterns of behaviour of consuming public either in general or specific groups. I like to buy my products from Adidas because we have high value clothes and shoes. They're the largest sportswear brand in Europe and the second highest in the world behind Nike. When I buy from Adidas, I am always satisfied with the products, so I will always be happy to continue buying from them over and over. It is important that Adidas focus on keep, keeping their customers happy and satisfied, because repeat purchases will stop competitors like Reebok and Nike from betting benefiting. The value of the products also has a massive impact on whatever customers like myself buy the products. For example, if Adidas sold low value products, I wouldn't buy them, and I wouldn't be satisfied if I did either. I would, have, I would go elsewhere to companies like Nike. Adidas tried to improve their environmental image by improving their water efficiency, quality and accessibility. They also started using more sustainable materials in production, products and stores. Economic impacts on Adidas. If inflation went up, it wouldn't be a massive problem for Adidas, as they are a worldwide brand and it doesn't mean that prices would rise everywhere. Also, they could easily increase the price as demand is price inelastic. Celebrity endorsement is a great way for brands to market their products and Nike and Adidas both do this to increase the amount of sales they get in the introduction stage of the product life cycle. Adidas have used Lionel Messi in many adverts for football boots recently and Messi makes 20 million a year from contracts from Adidas which shows how important he is. Nike used Cristiano Ronaldo for their CR7 boots and Michael Jordan for the Nike Air Jordans in the past as well. However, celebrity endorsements can also be bad if the celebrity is in trouble. For example, Lance Armstrong was a drugs cheat, so Nike ended his contract in cycling. Adidas can use SWOT analysis. This is a strategic method in which they can calculate their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Some of the strengths are that they are highly associated with one of the leading brands for sportswear in the world. Some of the weaknesses can be that advertisement isn't recognised to be as good as Nike's. Some of the opportunities are widely available to Adidas, for example, one opportunity was taken, it was the latest list for Bobby's, which came out two years ago. Threats can be both Nike and Reebok, as they are both the main rivals as well. Needs, wants and desires. Some Adidas products can be classed either as needs, wants or desires. If it was a need, then customers would be buying from Adidas because they feel that the clothes and footwear is a basic human requirement. If it's a want, then the customer doesn't need the product, however they could satisfy the need for the product when they have it. Finally, if it's a desire, it's because the product is too expensive and the customer doesn't have enough money to get it, therefore it's desirable. To conclude my blog for understanding markets and customers, there have been many reasons why we buy from big brands like Adidas and Nike, and there are too many reasons to put into this four minute video, but thank you for watching.